Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at a new MagSafe wallet from ESR. This is their Halo Lock wallet. It's made out of vegan leather. We're gonna be taking a look at the brown leather color option today. You can pick this up right now on Amazon for $23. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in checking that out. But one of the things that ESR is known for is their kickstand phone case. So they have a, a phone case, I'll put a picture up right now, that has a kickstand on the back. But the cool thing about that case is the hinge mechanism is extremely strong. And so it lasts a long time, it's made really well. And so when they came out with this MagSafe wallet case with a similar hinge mechanism, I thought we should check it out. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna take a close up look and talk about what you need to know if you're considering buying this wallet. All right, so let's take a look at this ESR Halo Lock MagSafe wallet. Take a close up look. Obviously you see the MagSafe ring. Also has the additional alignment magnet here. It just helps it to properly align to your case and you can actually you can feel it. So as it moves over, it kind of clicks into place there feel that click in but take a look at the wallet itself you do have you have an outer flap here that, that goes on the back and then when you open it up you have essentially a place for an ID or another card and then you've got a second card or place for an ID or a card here and then you've got a an area where you can put a second card here every one of these um, card slots will fit more than one credit card in them and then obviously you have that hinge. So I'm having to press pretty firmly to move that hem, that hinge. It is very, very stiff. So good quality hinge there. You can see, let's see any branding here. You do get an ESR branding hit there. Nice stitching around the wallet. Let's see if there's any branding on the inside. No braiding on the inside. It's actually fairly light in terms of of branding on the wallet. It is vegan leather, which means essentially fake leather, and it does feel it feels kind of like suede almost. So you can kind of feel the little almost like hairs on the leather. So it does have a nice leathery feel to it. So let me talk about how I kind of store my cards. So essentially, I need a wallet when I'm looking for a MagSafe wallet. Obviously I want it to be magnetic. I want it to have a really good hold, which we'll talk about here in a second. But the other thing is I need to carry five cards with me. And a lot of wallets, especially MagSafe wallets, are only made to carry three cards. Now, if you notice, there's three card slots here. And on the description, they say it can carry up to three cards. And so what I've been doing is I've been carrying, you know, my ID on the inside, to go on the inside there um, and then I've been carrying a, a credit card on the inside so you get two cards fitting on the inside and I've noticed as long as you only have one card in each it folds flat but the moment I add in a second card to either side because it will hold more than two cards in here it doesn't quite fold 100% flat. So if you notice, it's still kind of, it bounces back a little bit. So on the inside, I really do recommend that you really need to just have one card in each of those card slots. And when you do, it folds perfectly flat and you're good to go. So that leaves the outside area. And that's where I'm able to put three cards. So I like to carry uh, you know, Costco card or Sam's card and then a couple of credit cards on the outside. So I actually will put three cards here and fits just fine. It still closes all the way. And the thing that I really like about this wallet is you have a, a little cutout at the bottom so you can just move those cards up and easily access whatever you card you need um, to be able to get out of that that outside card slot. So with this wallet, I'm able to hold five five cards, no problem at all. And in terms of magnetic hold, you know, it's it's not going to, it's not gonna fall off your phone. So it's on there 
you know it's on there really nice now if you do that it might flap because of the hinge but it's not coming coming off of your phone and then if you're somebody who does like to leave your phone you know up on your up on your desk so let me with the camera here then that that hinge is going to allow you to do that so that's a really nice and you, you have multiple viewing angles as well that you can do so it's really nice that that hinge allows you to to do that and then also you can you know you can have it up on its side um, as well yeah oh the other thing you can do let me show you this real quick let me move this down because I have it right now there's two ways you can actually hold it on its side one is this way to where it's kind of instead of the, the instead of the wallet standing vertically you can have the wallet standing horizontally but also you can flip the phone around and you can actually have it horizontally on the wallet while the wallet's vertical and in this case that actually gives you a little bit of extra height so if you're watching a, a YouTube video or something like that it actually gives you something to be able to prop up your phone so typically on, on my desk if I'm maybe watching something online while I'm working or checking Twitter or Instagram I'll leave it like that but nice strong hold on the wallet all in all you know works really well same thing with cases so you're, it actually holds stronger on a case because typically cases aren't as slick as the glass on the back so it's not going to slide around quite as much so the one thing I'll say to keep in mind move this back up is um, you know so love this wallet great recommendation holds five cars it's only $23 right now so that is a really good deal the one detractor I'll share is you do lose a little bit of thinness. So if you notice, this is my, oops, this is my Moft wallet. And even with, let me move the cards over real quick into the Moft, because I also, the other thing I like about Moft, the Moft wallet is I'm able to hold five cards in that as well. So even with zero cards in the ESR case, five in the Moft wallet, I mean, you can tell that the ESR case is a little bit thicker. So you do, it does, it is a little bit larger in terms of thickness. It's not too much larger in terms of, you know, just general size, width and height. It is a little bit larger though. Um, it's still a really thin case. I hold this in my front pocket, so it fits in your front pocket just fine. But I just wanted to share that if you, if thinness is ultimately what you're looking for in terms of, not your case, but your wallet, then um, this does add a little bit of thickness to it, so keep that in mind. Otherwise, solid wallet, great hinge, super strong. It's going to last forever. Uh, the materials have held up really well. I've been using this case, this wallet now for two weeks, um, so I have no issues at all, and can totally recommend this product from ESR. ESR makes really good stuff. I actually use a, I use a car mount, a charging, a MagSafe charging car mount, and I've used that car mount now for months and it's held up spectacular so uh, check out ESR products take a look at this on Amazon and if you do pick one up you know let me know what you think we'd love to hear your experience so thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video peace